Nice having you again my friends here on Will Edutech. In this video we are going to be looking at the solution to the January 2013 CSEC math exam pass paper. Uh, here we have question 10a, a typical geometry and trigonometry question that has to do with circle theorem. Okay. Now I'm going to walk you through this question. I'm going to teach you the basic uh, theorems or concepts as it relates to um, understanding how you answer a uh, question like this. However, before I start, I must make a very important note that lately persons have uh, been, you know, emailing us or their concerns that sometimes they leave uh, messages on YouTube and they don't get back a quick response. Now, I must say that since we have launched our website uh, in the past couple of weeks, um, we have ma we are mainly logged into our website. And let me just give you a quick look as to what I am speaking about. Now, here is our here is our website, and our website is willedutech.com. Now, since we have launched the website, um, if you notice um, on wh when you watch the videos on that page below the videos down here, you will have a comment section. Okay, and I'm just scrolling down here. And if you're logged into your Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus account, you can always leave a comment on here. Uh, you'll get a speedy response when you leave your comments on our website since we are usually logged into our websites. We do answer questions or we do comment back on YouTube, but um, not that quick as how we would on, on the website since we are always there. Okay, my friends. Now, quickly, let's just switch back boards and get into our question. All right, let's just pull this up. Here we go. Now, it states uh, the diagram below not drawn to scale shows a circle center O. RQ is a diameter and PM and PN are tangents to the circle. Angle M PN is equal to 50 degrees and angle and angle RQM is equal to 20 degrees. Now here they're asking us to calculate given reasons for your answer the measure of in part one uh, the angle MRQ and that's an easy two marks. Okay now let's just quickly look at that. Now here we have the diagram that they gave us uh, in the exam. Now they're saying that the they gave us this angle here, MQR, the angle MQR is equal to 20 degrees, okay? And they're asking us to find this angle here, my friends. And let me just mark it so that we all can see what is happening. They're asking us to find the angle MRQ. Now I'm going to mark that in red, MRQ. And remember, the letter that's in the middle, that's where the angle is being formed, okay? So this angle here at R, they're asking us to find. Now, if you notice carefully, my friends, we have a special, a unique situation happening here. Note that they said that the diameter RQ which passes through the center of the circle is this green line here. Okay. Now if you notice um, at the circumference at the point M that my pointer is on right now we have two angle legs. Okay. And by angle legs I simply mean the line segment M MR or you can call it the chord MR okay that's an angle leg and another angle leg is MQ from point M to Q okay now if you notice a very unique situation is happening here MR is standing on the diameter okay um, at the circumference here and also the other angle leg MQ is also standing on the diameter at the circumference there. Now, when you have a situation like that, where you have um, the angle at the circumference here, that is formed here at the point M, is standing on the diameter, okay? You, we have a theorem that states that the angle at the circumference is a 90 degree angle, okay? Or it is a right angle. So, the triangle MRQ would be a right angle triangle given the fact that these two legs are standing on the diameter okay so quickly we can look at that we would make our statement first by saying to answer part one okay we have the angle QMR which we have identified here is equal to 90 degrees and remember since we're dealing with theorems we must state the theorem now here we have it angle subtended by the diameter at the circumference is oops sorry I have a typo error there it should be is oops my bad sorry about that my friends uh, sometimes we run into a little bit of technical difficulties okay so we shouldn't have in here okay we should have is 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 a nine is a right angle okay 
so pretty much we have found that this is a 90 degree angle now since we have by considering the triangle r m q this triangle here since we have two angles then we simply can subtract the sum of these two angles so we could simply say 90 plus 20 and we're going to subtract that from 180 and the value that's left over would be the size of the angle mrq okay and this is how we would go about it it's pretty easy here we have it uh, to, to find the value of the angle mrq which they're asking us we would say 180 since the sum of the interior angles in any triangle adds up to 180 we're saying 180 and we're going to minus the two known angles or, or the angles that the angle that we found there and the angle that was given so here we have a 90 plus 20 that would give us 110 and we're subtracting that from the total 180 so what is left is 70 degrees so this angle here mrq the angle here in red is equal to 70 degrees and now remember that's a geometric concept so we must state our reason also okay so here we have it uh, angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees okay so that's our reason so there we have found mr Q and it's pretty much that easy my friends now let's quickly move on to part 2 where they're asking us to find PMR now if you notice carefully my friends and let me just grab a pointer again and let's just mark that angle they're asking us to find the angle PMR so P here um, out here where the tangents uh, starts P M R. So they're asking us to find the angle there that I'm shading there in green right under there. Now if you notice again we have a, a unique situation occurring. Now I need you to focus on the chord or the line segment M R. Okay and I'm running my pointer along that line segment. Now this line segment is playing two roles. Okay it has two functions. Okay if you notice the angle that is formed at the circumference at the point Q. If you notice the angle legs QM and QR is standing on that chord. Okay, my friends. So the angle at Q, the 20 degree angle here is standing on that chord. Okay. And if you notice the same chord, okay, MR that this angle is standing on, it is the same chord. MR is forming the angle with the tangent PM. Okay. That is in green there. If you notice carefully. So this chord or this line segment RM serves two purposes. It subtends the angle in the alternate segment at Q there. And it's also forming the angle that they're asking us to find um, with the tangent out outside the circle there so when we have a situation like that my friends we are speaking about the angles in an alternate segment okay so here we have it to answer part two we would say the angle pmr that they are asking us to find pmr which is in green here is equal to the angle that was given over here which we have identified mqr and that is equal to 20 degrees and since it's a geometric concept we have to state the theorem to get the full marks so we have to say that angles in the alternate segment are equal and it's pretty much that easy my friends okay now um in the next video i'll be answering part three where i'm going to show you how to find the value of p m n okay which is this entire angle here okay so see you in that video bye bye